Has it ever happened to you to be caught in some kind of argument which doesn't make sense? And you try to find a way out of the argument, you try to establish common ground, you try to validate the other person's point of view, show that you understand, but then in return also have the other person explain that they understand you, uh, get a feeling that your point of view makes sense to them, but they never seem to get it. And you try and try again, you get more and more tired, you explain things in different points of view, from different angles, you try to get the message across and it never seems to work. And you, you might end up thinking, what's wrong with me? Is my point of view so ludicrous that the other person doesn't see it? I've tried explaining it multiple times. I think I make sense. People usually say I make sense and I'm logical. And in this case, it's going nowhere. Well, what makes you think that the other person is actually interested in finding common ground? What makes you think they're interested in having you feel comfortable and stop running around and stop agitating yourself and stop trying to find a solution? Maybe they just enjoy the effort you put into it. Maybe they enjoy seeing how painful it is for you and how you try to wrestle your way out of it. There's an expression that explains this quite well that I suggest you bear in mind, which is never wrestle with a pig. Do you know why? Well, for one thing, you end up covered in mud, and the other thing is that the pig enjoys it. When you are in situations like this, where you feel like you're being reasonable, and the other person doesn't understand you, and you feel like you've explained yourself, it might be a mistake to make the assumption that they are interested in finding common ground, in having a healthy conversation, and listening to each other, in learning, in reflecting, and admitting that sometimes maybe they're not 100% right about absolutely everything. If you have done what you can, and you feel that the other person doesn't get you, you can assume that either you have a problem communicating, but then you might want to check, is this usually the case, that you have a problem communicating? It might also be that they uh, don't understand you, and they have a problem understanding people, that might be the case. Do they have a history of having a problem understanding people? And it might also be that they don't want to understand and they rather enjoy it. I suggest you look for smirks in their face, especially smirks that come in really strange moments. That's a clear giveaway. And also look for what they are doing to try to understand and try to find common ground. If they're doing nothing, maybe they're just a pig. And if they're a pig rolling around in the mud, you can decide to jump in and roll around with them. They'll enjoy it and you'll end up covered in mud. And when you're tired of rolling around in the mud with a pig, then you can choose to walk away and get out. And remember that you do not need to be heard by anyone. You do not need to be validated by anyone. You're entitled to your point of view, whatever it might be. And if people don't like it, then you'll end up being somewhat lonely. But if overall you get along with people and it's just a few specific individuals who seem to have this problem, maybe the problem isn't you. Maybe it is you, but maybe it isn't you. Consider that option. And also consider what is your motivation? Are you creating the drama? Or are you the one trying to resolve it? Beware also, by the way, of people who say that they hate drama. That usually, well, usually, it sometimes is a decoy. Someone hides behind it. They say that they hate drama. Therefore, you don't suspect that they are looking to cause the drama. Never wrestle with a pig. You end up covered in mud and the pig really enjoys it. Let them go and enjoy themselves with someone else. You deserve better than that.